Good morning, people. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today with you is uh, Victoria Vlasova and uh, the Lux Private School. As usual, uh, we meet with you on Thursday and uh, every Thursday we speak English. Uh, today I welcome you for the for the our live stream uh, concerning the topic climate change uh, United States of America and Mr. President Donald Trump uh, reaction for USA withdrawal from the climate change positions and Paris Agreement and today I hope that uh, we will have some votings yeah who will be for who will be against uh, I would like to read your commentaries concerning Paris Agreement concerning the main topic why Paris Agreement exists uh, what is the main idea of it of this Paris Agreement and of course uh, I will listen to your commentaries I will read your commentaries with the position of your attitude towards this topic hello everyone uh, who sees us Gleb, Yelena, Lilia, good morning uh, I welcome you as every time I'm making it with a cup of coffee and I wish you to have good morning and to be a very active uh, part to take a very active part in our discussions today okay so the first uh, thing that uh, we will talk about it will be actually what does it mean what it means Paris Agreement a little bit of uh, history yeah a little bit of dates statistics of course if you know the questions if you know some important and principal attributic features of Paris Agreement you're welcome to write in commentaries for me it will be a great pleasure to read them and to comment about them so the Paris Agreement Paris Agreement uh, this is an agreement that deals with ecological sphere mostly ecological sphere that touches the questions and the main issues for global world of climate change of pollution of emissions uh, into the air and of uh, probably uniting all countries all over the world with the main one reason to preserve uh, to preserve our planet uh, to preserve uh, the ecological clean situation on it and to make kind of industries uh, to feel the um, actually a nice approach a green approach for influencing the all around the world countries and everything that concerns ecology so Paris Agreement Paris Agreement what are the dates of it uh, the dates of it uh, the first one it was uh, taken uh, in the year it was drafted actually in the year 2015 uh, the position dates were from 30th November till 12th December so it was like a kind of uh, attaching procedure of attaching countries uh, for this revenue for this uh, uh, global problem so to say yeah and uh, a protocol an agreement uh, theoretically and practically was signed uh, the 22nd of April 2016 of course it was signed uh, many countries to say exact number uh, yeah it was uh, the signatures of countries 195 uh, the parties uh, that uh, participated in it it was 148 quite much yes and uh, the uh, program uh, was written to be fulfilled up to 2020 the year 2020 uh, of course um, uh, for the years for five years uh, many things could be changed yeah because we live in a very boring world uh, we uh, have uh, changing yeah we have uh, political situation that is uh, constantly changing that's why we can't say exactly uh, yes that uh, um, this agreement uh, is being fulfilled uh, properly yeah properly and uh, actually the first position the first like uh, uh, 
disadvantage or probably the weak point uh, we see nowadays on the world arena. Uh, it concerns uh, President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, who on Thursday, the 1st of June, uh, came with the proclamation of withdrawal of United States of America uh, from a Paris Agreement. Of course, my dear students, uh, I understand that I speak, but I want you to become a part uh, of our uh, today's negotiations, of our live stream. And in your commentaries, uh, Tatiana, good morning. In your commentaries, I'm waiting for some uh, ideas uh, about United States of America withdrawal from Paris Agreement. How do you find it for, um, for the world? Uh, because we all know that uh, United States of America is a giant country uh, with giant industry and uh, with uh, enterprises that make uh, the global. So for me, it's interesting to read uh, to read your commentaries. Either you are for or you are against American withdrawal and probably practical impact. How practically can influence Ukraine probably Ukraine um, if we are attached in some way it's also human right how this uh, country's withdrawal will touch uh, uh, the world problematics in pollution yeah so you're welcome your commentaries I will command them and uh, we will have a kind of discussions um, Alexander hello to Israel I'm very happy to see you uh, okay, so um, till I'm waiting for your commentaries, uh, we are going on with Paris Agreement for today. Mm, uh, some more dates, uh, some more numbers and figures. Uh, I told you that till 2020, yeah, till 2020, uh, the conception of this agreement must be uh, realized on the world arena. Uh, if we speak about uh, aims, yes, aims uh, of the convention of this agreement. Uh, the first one, probably the most important, uh, we all know that uh, nowadays global warming uh, and climate change procedure is, uh, uh, is being told and uh, discussed and negotiated all over the world uh, by many politicians, so in the political arena, in the economic arena global political arena also. So what is the aim? Uh, the first as for me aim that I can uh, actually tell you and point about it, it's holding the increase in the global average temperature and in in the convention it was written, who probably knows of you, the ecological state, the temperature below two degrees, yeah, so it was like the numbers between 1.5 and two, uh, speaking about the uh, pre-industrial levels, uh, why uh, why to do it? Because uh, um, speaking about industrial components and speaking about industries, yes, that uh, make pollution, that make uh, and produce fossil fuels. Yeah, they uh, make a kind of pollution that provokes greenhouses effects and uh, it harms uh, ecology and ecological situation all over the world. Uh, therefore, uh, this convention presumes uh, the temperature level, yeah, average one, uh, to well below two degrees. It was postponed by the article number two. Another aim, another aim of uh, Paris Agreement was constant decreasing the ability to adapt to the adverse impacts of climate change. Yeah, why to do it so? Because the lower greenhouse gas emissions um, are uh, the less polluted air and the less polluted atmosphere we have. It's uh, like equal things. Yeah like, uh, so to say, consequence things from one another. And uh, the third very important aim, um, as for me, that I can share with you, is making finance flows consistent, yeah? Uh, every, time, uh, every time when we speak about any kinds of uh, problems that are global, uh, we are not a kind of, um, actually, uh, children who believe in some fairy tales, yeah? Of course, in all uh, global situations, in all global um, problem, problematic situations, uh, there is a component of uh, money and of big finances. 
Uh, therefore, actually, um, it highly concerns the uh, topic of American withdrawal. Yeah, who knows? Uh, uh, probably why America, why Mr. Trump, uh, Mr. Donald Trump decided. Uh, decided to withdraw and uh, decided to actually to uh, come to the world's arena with the suggestion of withdrawal and many many of course there were many people and many parties religious uh, structures who <clears throat> Murat, thank you very much uh, for compliment. Yeah, the topic is not only good; it's actually uh, the topic is very hot because we live, we all live uh, uh, on our planet, and uh, our planet uh, uh, has uh, limited resources. Yeah, we do not uh, preserve our planet. Only for one country, but actually for uh, for the world itself, for the globe. Yeah. So coming back to a uh, decision of uh, President of USA, President to leave uh, uh, and to withdraw country. Uh, Ruslan, Mr. Gura, good morning. Mm, during our topic, please. Climate change and uh, United States of America withdrawal from it. Uh, who can command? Uh, of course, I'm waiting for your commentaries to be written. Uh, how can you command? Why, Mr. Trump? Why, president of the giant of the most huge country with the big potential, uh, economic potential, business potential? Why he was not afraid to withdraw the ha the country, the United States of America, from? Paris Agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm waiting, of course, for your comments. Uh, it's very interesting for me because I know, dear friends, that uh, all of you who are listening to me today, you are from different spheres of life, from different professions, yeah, from different actings. But uh, one more time, I should stress that we live uh, on one planet. Yeah, whenever you are in your in the United States of America, in um, Emirates, whatever, USA, France, yeah, you are highly uh, concerned and you are highly responsible for our planet, of course. Uh, so, coming to the topic of uh, withdrawal, yeah, withdrawal of uh, United States of America, uh, I told you that it happened the 1st of June, yeah, last Thursday, uh, 2017, Mr. Trump, uh, he said that he finishes and he withdraws from Paris Agreement of 2015. Uh, why? The question was why, the question is still why, uh, who knows uh, the answers, you're welcome, people. I will just make a kind of supposition, my personal supposition on it, uh, basing, uh, basing on the material that I have read and that I have prepared and actually the materials that I know um, now widespread in the net, in media. Uh, hello Andrew. Oh, uh, we have uh, some comments. Thank you people. Thank you dearest. Uh, so the first comment is uh, by Murat. We are not living on earth so need to know real heritage to all. Uh, of course, uh, of course, we need to understand uh, the heritage, mostly probably the, the land that the earth gave us, yeah, and we should, we must, we not even should, but we must be responsible for this heritage that we received from the earth. Thank you very much, Murat, for your comment. Tatiana, uh, Tatiana Borisenko, because of money, nothing else. Yes, of course, this question I, I have risen uh, that everything that concerns uh, global, um, global aspects, global moments, it's highly financial question, of course. Uh, but do you think that USA wants to become more uh, rich, richer than it is? Uh, do you know probably of some future proclamations of Mr. Trump to become rich and to make his country uh, that he rules nowadays richer? Mm, also, you write me in your commentaries. Thank you. Catherine. Catherine, hello. Trump thinks uh, like a businessman, not as a politician. 
Totally right. Of course, uh, we have discussed much times with my students uh, during our classes uh, uh, that Mr. Trump, he's a president, yeah, he was elected, but in his mind, yes, in his mind, in his uh, attitude towards the world, of course, he's a businessman and preliminary and primarily he uh, he thinks like a businessman for his country and the main reason uh, of uh, all activities and international activities interior exterior is for gaining uh, more money more finances uh, for the country for himself uh, for his uh, uh, actually ambitions both on different terrains political economical and personal why not let's see the truth uh, Paris Agreement will bring America losses. Catherine thinks that Paris Agreement will bring America losses. Mm. Yes, probably might be, but if you can structurize your position, why it's so? And uh, dear students, if you also consider that uh, Paris Agreement will bring America losses, uh, put plus uh, to the commentary and uh, explain your position, why you really think so. Uh, because um, because it's very expensive to change the format of the work with enterprise to a more ecological one. Uh, Catherine gave us the first answer for it. Uh, probably it's uh, the first one that it's obvious. Uh, that is obvious from the first, from the not hidden position, yeah, or side. But uh, uh, there are, of course, some, uh, uh, something that is more profound, something that is more deep. I want you to open the horizons wider and to think deeper. Uh, but still, once uh, those who uh, agree, write me please in commentaries. I'm waiting. Andrew, mm, thanks for your live broadcast. Always interesting. Thank you. But still, be involved in the topic uh, for me and for us, for our listeners. It's a big pleasure. Tatiana, uh, he was promising during election campa company, campaign uh, to go out from Paris Agreement and he did it. Yeah, uh, probably this comment uh, states his uh, uh, mostly personal, uh, personal um, ambitions, yes, and personal characteristics. Of course, if he promises something, uh, he makes it, he fulfills it. Uh, by the way, I have uh, a very nice uh, his quote that also symbolizes and characterizes Mr. Trump as a, um, as a personality uh, who is very ambitious, who is very conservative, uh, very conservative uh, and uh, probably even non-flexible in this way. Uh, after his uh, interviewing, yeah, after he was being interviewed in a speech, yeah, he told one phrase. Uh, probably you know this phrase if you have read some of media materials. He told, I was elected to represent the citizens of Pittsburgh, not Paris. Yeah, it was uh, his quote, uh, it were his uh, words. And uh, by this way, he probably, he was drawing the support from members of his Republican party, from, uh, from political party where he was, yeah. But it was like a kind of widespread condemnation from political leaders also, yeah, from business executives. Some, uh, uh, coming back to this topic, uh, uh, some, uh, many, not some, but many, I think, political leaders and business executives and religious structures did not support him. They think uh, one he's very ambitious, conservative, and Tatiana also told about it when he promises, um, he he does it, he makes it, he fulfills. Totally. Uh, personal ambition, yeah, totally right, totally right. Um, Acting as a president, uh, of course, uh, we cannot judge him because uh, uh, not much time has passed. We can say either it's good for the country, but today's topic is uh, climate change, it's ecology, uh, it's uh, uh, global ecology. Yeah, and uh, my position, my consideration of it is that uh, if a country mm, 
uh, not simple country but giant country with many states uh, when it concerns highly the position and the problem of all over the world uh, it's uh, not quite uh, probably diplomatic or it's not quite um, uh, quite uh, generous probably uh, benevolent to reduce and to come off it uh, regarding the situation that actually this agreement should be executed by 2020 so uh, legally even uh, from my perspective yeah, girls that are open for public he could not he he had not to do it actually. he had not to do it but still we see that we see what we see uh, he has made it uh, the first of june Paris Agreement it's for uh, far future president just for a few years and he wants to do maximum for his president's term. Uh, term. Yes Tatiana you're right of course. Uh, Trump uh, as all presidents it's temporarily uh, situation it's temporarily action if you wish and of course uh, we know probably uh, those of you my darlings who uh, who follow this situation probably you know Mr. Obama's ex-president of United States of America reaction to it as far as I know as far as I'm concerned Obama was quietly supportive for Paris Agreement uh, and uh, I have uh, watched many of his videos uh, videos of interviews that uh, show his liberal has opened and his uh, determinative way of this Paris agreement and uh, of course right now we see the opposite uh, is the opposite uh, action and the opposite situation by mr. Trump uh, yes, it's mostly uh, characterizes and gives some uh, some backgrounds to consider his uh, uh, business personality, as uh, we told it before. As we told it before, um, uh, before our live stream in the very beginning of it. Okay, uh, I'm still waiting for your comments, so we have time, and uh, while we are waiting, uh, you are I'm waiting for your comments. I will go on with a little bit some more. Uh, details and issues that could be interesting for you uh, uh, concerning dates uh, concerning dates um, you know that uh, it should be uh, it should be uh, fulfilled and executed by 2020 so one uh, someone from you could say that we have time yeah and countries have time and uh, politicians have time to stop uh, quarreling to stop arguing and uh, uh, at least t start to think about global world yeah and uh, not only about money but who lives who sees we will see the situation in the future yeah we are going to follow the media and so on some statistics some interesting facts for you i have prepared for today uh, well speaking about actually the problem in its core uh, the problem in its uh, uh, most important phase, yeah, the phase of pollution, the phase of carbon emissions and fossil fuels. Uh, some statistics for you just to understand uh, some uh, figures out. So, uh, speaking about global carbon dioxide emissions by country, by country, by one country. So the biggest, because today we forgot to speak about this country, I didn't see any, any comments uh, concerning one uh, giant country, not United States of America, but another one country uh, that uh, uh, probably can uh, have a profit out of this withdrawal. Uh, what country it is, be quick. Be quick, I give you just a couple of seconds to write the country who produces, that produces the biggest quantity of uh, carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere. And this country is considered to be a cool rival for the United States of America. I'm drinking my coffee, I'm waiting for your comments. I'm waiting for your comments. What is the country in the world? It produces the biggest quantity of uh, the biggest amounts of carbon dioxide. No one knows. I will tell you, it's not a secret. 
Okay, so the biggest uh, carbon dioxide emissions emitted uh, by country, it's, I will start with the date, probably you have some minutes. 29.4%, 29.4% for what country? For? For China, Tatiana, thank you very much. Yes, of course, 29 and 4 for China. So, and China, uh, like uh, by one country, if we regard uh, separate countries, it's the country that produces the biggest amount of emissions. And a nice question for you, uh, has China uh, signed the Paris Agreement? It's the question for you to think over. Is China inside this agreement is involved or not by producing such kinds uh, of uh, level of emissions that it produces. Uh, Tatiana is very active as usual. The second is United States of America uh, and the third one is India. Uh, yes, uh, uh, not exactly, but, but still almost right. Yeah, according to my statistics that I have, United States, yeah, takes the second place and therefore it correlates with the topic previously said that that's why for America it's not it's not profitable, yeah, it's not reasonable to, uh, to, 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 to go on with Paris Agreement because too much industries and too much enterprises, factories and plants are located in the United States of America. Yeah, Tatiana, exactly, United States of America. Uh, and uh, the third position is India. Uh, China signed. China signed this agreement. Uh, well, China signed this agreement, uh, um, uh, but how it's uh, how it will be uh, uh, f -f -f how it will be mirrored, so to say, to this country. What effects uh, it will lead to China if it's the biggest one? It totally will lose some of uh, some of profit uh, taken uh, taken from uh, industrial component. Yeah, totally yes. Uh, but uh, there are some more details about China. If you wish, you can write me into personal commentaries. We will discuss. I will probably give you the links and share with you the links uh, that I know that I have about China. Good. Yes, India, uh, we can regard it uh, as um, as the country that uh, takes uh, the third place because according to the statistics, six. <clears throat> 6.8% comes to India uh, of uh, emissions. Yeah, totally right. Uh, but uh, if we take uh, probably not one by one uh, country, we have uh, some, uh, like if we speak about European Union, yeah, uh, for European Union, uh, we have, but, but it's the mix uh, of uh, countries 9.8. So we can't say that uh, uh, geographically it's the big uh, the biggest countries no of course not that's why they're probably uh, um, taken all together uh, yes Tatiana uh, but for China it's more light than for USA more light you mean uh, uh, you mean the positions of the agreement uh, are more not light but more uh, for China uh, than for America and why why? Because uh, uh, we also know if we take the component of labor uh, and of labor force payments, yeah, we know that uh, much of uh, uh, gadgets, much of things, electronical things, they are assembled in China, um, even that are, they are authorized by American licenses, yeah, by the United States of America, but still, most of them and uh, the biggest industrial component is located in China and uh, uh, therefore China, um, China produces really much of industrial uh, things, details and components. Okay, um, okay, yeah, if we speak about uh, uh, Japan, by the way, yeah, Japan, it used to be the country also very, very technologically uh, progressive, but it's surprising, but uh, Japan takes only three and a half percent of uh, carbon, uh, carbon emission, carbon dioxide emissions into the air. Uh, yes, uh, so this is the statistics for you. Uh, thank you, Tatiana. You are really, really very active today. Uh, good. What else uh, can be can be said about this topic about global stock ages? 
about the structures of course we will see uh, we will see how it uh, uh, how it's going to reflect uh, for the world's community for all countries uh, withdrawal of United States of America probably something will be changed but uh, still in America uh, there was formed uh, like a special alliance yeah after after uh, Mr. Trump uh, told about the withdrawal some of American parties and uh, some of uh, Parliament yeah it's like uh, alternative uh, coalition was formed yes yeah, so I think that uh, this question is not going to be like very very radically settled yeah probably <coughs> Probably we can hope that uh, uh, some parts of America, some parties of America, uh, people who uh, who care about planet, they will make something and uh, they will probably have negotiations with President side. We will see. Of course, money, finances, money rule the world. Uh, but uh, if we do not have the world, who will rule it? Thank you very much my darlings uh, thank you very much uh, everyone who was active in today's small discussion about climate change and the united states withdrawal of it mr trump's characteristics uh, me victoria yes in the agreement china will uh, just uh, continue a little bit with your comment china can continue to take and use coal maybe without big limits not like it's for usa Yes, uh, well, actually, speaking about China and America, it's a big deal. Uh, two giant countries, two enormously um, titanic industrial countries. Uh, of course, it's like another topic to be discussed, but uh, we will see. We'll definitely see. Uh, we will follow the world's news on this arena. Uh, thank you, darlings, one more time. Today with you, as usual, was Victoria Blasa spread a school join our live streams join my live streams if you wish to have special topics to be discussed to be discussed right to our uh, the Luke's private school page in Facebook or Instagram and with pleasure I will regard all your notices all your desires and will comment about the most the hottest topics i wish everyone great day and see you next time bye bye good luck